I put these jeans to the test with a very cynical mind and I'm here to let you know Hey guys, Steve Fainwell. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be doing a denim try-on haul. Very, very exciting because all of the jeans in this try-on haul are from Abercrombie and Fitch, specifically their curve range. I mentioned one of my prior videos that I've always had a hard time finding jeans that fit my body and a lot of you could relate. I actually think Jean shopping is universally a problem for most people. And so I started to do some research and one of the highest top recommended denim brands for curvier people turns out to be from Abercrombie and Fitch. I think in general, their jeans are just very well liked. So I thought that I would start off with that brand. This could potentially turn into a series. So if there are any other denim brands that you want me to try on, definitely leave a comment down below. I will happily be YouTube's guinea pig. If this is your first time seeing my face, like I mentioned, my name is Ifeoma. I make videos all about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I upload new videos every single week and weekly vlogs on Sunday. Feel out the vibe, see how you feel. If you like it at any point in time, consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. Let's get started. Oof, this is heavy. My order came in two, <laughs> two different bags. So let's talk a little bit about the ordering experience. So I placed my order on Monday. Everything on the website was 20% off. Most of Abercrombie and Fitch's jeans are about 70 pounds. So I was able to get, I think about six pairs of jeans for roughly 56 pounds each. A couple of days after I placed my order, I was just strolling around a random charity shop and I came across this. <laughs> this is the 90 straight ultra high rise in the Curve Love range. And this is in a size 33, 16 long. And like I mentioned, completely brand new, all the tags intact. So you know I had to get it. I had to get it because it was 17 pounds for the exact pair of jeans that I had actually ordered online for about 56. So insane. Typically in trousers, I am a large slash extra large. I typically also wear a 14 most times in jeans. The sizing on the Abercrombie and Fitch website is a little bit tricky to navigate because I think they do American sizes, so you have to know your waist size. So I pretty much went for either a 31, 32, or 33. I really just got whatever was in stock. And they also do different lengths, which I really appreciate. So if there was a long available, I would get a long. For reference, I am five foot eight. So the first pair of jeans I have right here, this is the 90 straight ultra high rise. Straight out the pack, the jeans come in this Plastic. This is my perfect shade of blue. Ooh, this looks small. <laughs> so this is 31 and they've written 12L. So I don't know if 31 is equivalent to a UK 12 or a US 12. Probably a US 12, right? Actually, I think this is the same pair that I got from the charity shop. So this is the 90s straight in 32. If you remember the ones that I got from the charity shop were 33. So I'm curious to see which ones fit me better. 99% cotton and 1% elastane. Ultra high rise, ankle straight in the 32 extra long. 97% cotton, 2% polyester, 1% elastane. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I have tried so many times to order cream slash white jeans and it just never works out. <sighs> Hopefully this does. This is the relaxed jean high rise. So this looks like a straight cut. I have it in the 32 and the 31, and they're both long length. These seem to stretch the least. 1% elastane, 99% cotton. Oh wow, okay. And then this is another white pair, and this is the slim straight cut. This has 1% elastane, 2% polyester, and 97% cotton. So in terms of fabric compositions, they all have 1% elastane, some have 99% cotton, and then the other mix seems to be 97% cotton and 2% polyester. Pretty much majority cotton and a little bit of elastane to hopefully help fit. I'm just gonna get started and start putting things on because I'm really excited about this haul. So this is the first pair of jeans. 
I am wearing the ultra high rise slim straight in the 32 long. Okay, so these are more of a true white. The other pair I have is definitely more cream. I think these jeans are really comfortable. They are high rise. I don't know if I would say they're ultra high rise. Having said that, my waist is kind of here, so I don't know where else, <laughs> how much higher they could be. Um, there's a bit of a gaping around here. I don't know if you guys would be able to tell, but I feel like the crotch could be a little bit higher. Having said that, these are very comfortable. There's a little bit of gaping in the back. I mean, I do have some 31s, so we'll see if that fits a little bit better. Um, I know they're straight cut, but I almost wish that maybe they tapered out a little bit more. And as you can see what I was trying to explain, there's a lot of bunching around the ankle, and I just don't think that this is as flattering, if you know what I mean. So let's try on the second pair. Ooh, ooh, okay. The waist on this is snatched. I definitely like the way these fit better. And it's so crazy because they're both the same size and the same fabric composition, but they fit differently. I really like this. I have not put on a pair of jeans that have fit me this nicely in a really long time. Yeah, my only thing with these is I think I would need to hem them up slightly. And now you can see what the length looks like. I think they're slightly an awkward length. I think they would need to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. So maybe if I took them up by like an inch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys were right about this brand. <laughs> what? I really like these. I like the length. I really like the shade of blue and I really like this detail. I think it's really different. And they're so comfortable. Like, <laughs> I love these. There's no distressing on these. It's like the perfect shade of blue. Woo, I'm wearing this tonight. I love these. But these are really nice too. So this is what I was trying to say about the first pair. I almost wish that they went out more because these go out the perfect amount. Mm, I think they are stretchy as the last pair that I tried on actually. These jeans are just really comfortable and I like the way that they sit on your waist. Ooh, I didn't even notice that patch detail right there. I like that. These have a lot more distressing than any of the other jeans that I've tried on, but these are really fun. Let's just try on the same jean in a bigger size, just for size reference. Okay, so these are the same jeans that I just tried on. They're sitting a lot lower on me, which I don't mind. I just don't think that this baggy style is really me. I honestly think you could get away with both, but the other pair, because they were tighter, they sat higher on my waist, and I just think that's more flattering. Like, these are giving me low rise, and I don't think I can pull off low rise, so these are gonna be a no, but these definitely feel roomier. Like, this would be perfect on a day where you just wanna be relaxed. Okay, so this you can obviously see is the biggest pair of jeans that I've tried on. This is in the 33 or 16L, and this is the 90 straight ultra high rise cut. Again, these are the ones that I got from the charity shop, so I bought these knowing that they would be too big. I actually tried them on, but the great thing about this is they are a super light wash, which I don't have in my wardrobe, and I think I can get the tailor to take these in. I'm really happy I bought these because I mean they were 17 pounds. <laughs> these jeans are the same cut, but these are crisscross and then these are straight. So definitely keeping those. I feel like I'm keeping all of these jeans. <laughs> this is the same jean that I picked up from the actual website that I'm wearing right now. I feel like these colors, are they too similar to keep both? Ah. I don't like these. <laughs> these fit really nice around the butt though. I feel like I 
haven't even talked about that. <laughs> in this cut, which is the 90 straight, I think I could get away with a 32 or a 31. That's my true size in this range. However, I don't think this is as flattering as the previous pair. So yeah, that's my last pair of jeans. Now I'm going to sit down and tell you guys my final thoughts. The slim straight is definitely going back. And I got these in a 32. I think the waist is a little too big for me and I didn't really like the bunching at the bottom. So this particular style did not work for me. The 90s relaxed jean. I loved this style. I loved this wash as well. The only reason why I'm returning these is because the 31 fit me better. So again, not a fail, I just found a better pair that fit me. There's a little bit of distressing around the pocket. I think that seems to be consistent with all of the 90s relaxed. Maybe that's why it's called relaxed. I personally am not a biggest fan of distressing, but this is minimal. You know, I can get away with this, this is fine. And then the third pair of jeans that I'm returning, again, is the 90s straight in the 32. This also has similar distressing along the pockets. We now to focus. Uh, there you go. So you can see the distressing seems to be along the waistband, the ankle, and the pockets. So it's not too much, but it's just something to bear in mind. I definitely didn't pick up on that on the website, but I'm not the best website shopper, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the kind of person that zooms in and like expands pictures. So I'm very often surprised when things come in real life. These are the four that I'm keeping, bearing in mind that the last pair is the pair that I picked up from the charity shop, so I couldn't return it even if I wanted to. So the ankle straight, even though I mentioned I'm generally a 31 in this range, the 32 in this range snatched me, okay? And because these are an XL, they don't actually come up on my ankle. So I think that's why they're a bit of an awkward length. And this means extra long, by the way. So if they were an actual long, I think they would have cut me at the right point at my ankle. So these are going to have hemmed up. Hopefully my <laughs> alterations guy doesn't charge me too much for that. But the way these fit, oh, I love these so much. There's no way I'm returning these. So these are the ones that had that crisscross in the front. I loved these. I've always wanted a pair of jeans that have that crisscross on the front. I don't know if that style is played out or not, but I've just always loved that. And I've never been able to find a pair that worked for me. So the fact that these fit, I'm, I'm wearing these right now. I'm going out to meet some friends and I'm wearing these right now. So this is in the 31 long, which again, I think is my size generally for this range. This did not have any distressing. Just very, 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 very minimal, a little bit around the pocket right there if it'll focus. Yeah, very, very little. The cream pair that I am keeping also does not have any distressing. I prefer no distressing, but I get it. Like, that's popular these days. So these are an absolute yes. Now we come to the charity shop pair. This is in the 90s straight ultra high rise. The 33 was obviously way too big. I only got that because it was what was in the charity shop. However, I preferred the way these were straight at the bottom. So that is something to bear in mind, but I'm going to get the weight, the waist taken in. Jean shopping is very, very tricky, as you know. <laughs> and then in the relaxed jean, I'm keeping the 31, which is the 12 long. The two sizes are so confusing. I'm keeping the 31 in these. I think if I ever order more jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch, I'll probably just go with a 31 long across the board. And anything that has a 32, I would also order. There's not really consistent sizing across multiple styles, but that's really no fault to them. Like that seems to be a general thing across stores. Seven pairs of jeans and I want to keep four, I think. And bear in mind out of the three I'm returning, one was a multiple size, if that makes sense. So really there were only two jeans that didn't work for me at all. Like those are crazy odds. And out of the four that I'm keeping, only two need to be adjusted. Bearing in mind that one I bought knowing it was too big. Like those are insane odds. I put these jeans to the test with a very cynical mind. And I'm here to let you know that I'm a believer. I'm a believer, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. So let me walk you through my overall impression. I've tried on several jeans that have stretch in the past. I've tried on jeans from Fashion Nova, from ASOS, from H&M, from Zara. And the biggest issue that I have is 
Sometimes you get those jeans that feel like jeggings almost. Those are the ones that typically have a last stain. These actually feel like real jeans. I love a Levi's. I love the quality of Levi's, but the truth is just not having any stretch for me makes them really uncomfortable. So I love that these actually have some stretch to them, but they still feel like good quality denim. It's, it's amazing. And I guess that's because they have like the bare minimum amount of elastane in them. The fact that they offer extra long as well is just insane. Like the variety that they've been able to cater for, I'm such a believer. What is my overall opinion? I really had a great time shopping with them. This is the first time I've ever shopped at the Abercrombie and Fitch. The website was very easy to use. I think shipping was free. I bought these jeans on promotion, so I actually think the price I paid for them was fair. They also have really good promotions. In addition to all the money I got off on the sale, I was also able to get 10 pounds off by joining their newsletters. I don't have anything negative to say. So I'm going to send these three jeans back and if I don't hear back by the time this video goes up, I'll leave a comment down below just letting you know what my returns process was like because I like to talk about these sorts of things as well. But yeah, that is my try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if there are any other denim brands that you want me to try on, please let me know. I'm always looking for more recommendations. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. I will catch you guys in my next video very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care. Bye.